El siguiente contenido se ofrece bajo una licencia Creative Commons. Su apoyo ayudará a Meet Open Course a continuar ofreciendo recursos educativos de alta calidad de forma gratuita. Para hacer una donación o ver los materiales adicionales de cientos de cursos, visite Meet Open Course en www.mit.edu. A lot of visual control here. Yeah, so, this, so uh, I wanted to talk to you about that before we talk about the uh, um, the stitching itself. Okay. Uh, tag time flow. Flow coordinators are required to keep details of. You have the detail here of the plan versus actual. If there are any deviations. Okay. This is the production board for the last team that we haven't yep. talked yet. But if there is a negative, they have to put a reason. In this case, was waiting for the closing. Closing happens to this be. Is, this is this is today's. This is today. So yeah. I have five after eight. This is seven eight o'clock. So immediately this is filled in. Yes. Because we're now in this shift period. Right. Or so that, we'll see. I will see what happens. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a good observation. So yeah. from a management, for supervisors, managers can hear and you know what we're waiting for closing. So the first question I will have, okay, why, what happened in the closing, in the stitching? You have a board here that then the flow coordinator says machine number seven was done for 10 it minutes. Is, okay. Just big picture detail they have in their, on their desk, they have a more detailed log that will tell them what happened with that particular machine. But you see how they are connected. Yeah, very, very, you know? very good. And yeah. it's part of the supervisor and management to make sure that they make sense. They make sense. Morning. Good morning, how are you? Good. <laughs> you see, they broke the thread. That's, that's oh, why the thread broke. The yeah. thread broke. Okay. That's what we're talking about. She okay. knows about it. It's okay. It's okay. She's the flow coordinator? She's the supervisor. 25 years in the company. Okay. What an asset. That's her team. <laughs> yeah, so this is her team. Uh -huh. I saw you way up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, like we were talking before, um, we talk about the generation, problem solving, involvement. And we have a very simple way to um, appreciate the ideas of our associates. Um, to talk about interaction supervisor associates, I will introduce to Rosemary Munoz. She's our supervisor. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. How is that? In the Y Value Stream, she's been with the company 25 years. Wow. So she's seen a lot from the, the batch and queue world to the. Um, it's okay. To the batch and queue world too. To the lean world. So, any questions you want to ask her? It's um... yeah, that, Rosemary. That is um, really critical in lean transformation. Lean. The people are really, the, to me, the key part, critical part. Uh -huh. And you're a frontline supervisor, yeah. and you have a value stream. I guess this is a, a kind of a picture of your value stream here. Yeah. Yours is the gold value stream. Uh -huh. So, as supervisor, what are some of the things that you do? when you work with your value stream team? The most important is to work, you know, with your associates. And because, like you know, Lean is 90, like 90% 90 associate uh -huh. and 10%, and you know, the rest, material, or maybe supervisor. The most important was, you know, to introduce Lean uh, system and they understand and work with them, you know. That's the most important thing, you know, that we can do. To now, get that, get that result. now, Claudia was telling me that, that one of the ways you do this is you get suggestions from them. You engage them with suggestions. So like Maria here, she's contributed some kinds of suggestions. And what happens to those suggestions when she contributes The, the suggestions they're giving, you know, that we, we check if uh, we try to implement almost the, all the idea that they have to. You know, when they give us some idea, we try to implement. We work with them. That way they feel more, you know, more, uh, how I can say more, more involved, more involved, more involved you know, yeah. in, in help, you know, the team. Yeah. How, how do you help them with the idea? How do you, do you help them think to it? Do they come up with the idea no, by they, themselves? They come, they come up with the idea by themselves. Mm -hmm. and when they don't have no idea, I go with them, you know, and I say, you know, for example, uh, what do you think? You don't have no idea how you can get any idea. Sometimes they say, 
oh, maybe I don't have too many time to think, and something like that. I told her, like, what do you think if I put, you know, for example, the baby here close to you, yeah. you, you can save, you know, one second. I said, that's come in. That's yeah. fine, I mean, we can try, you know, they only try anything, you know, that I can yeah. tell them to do. Yeah. So what, a, as a supervisor, what is a, what, what's the biggest challenge you have in this job? Is, I mean, you got 25 people, that's a, that's a lot right there. It's just work, work together. Work together. And teamwork, that's the most important. You know, when we work like team, you can get anything you want, you know, if you work. Well, super. Well, let's go back in the factory. And Right. You, got, you got a lot of thank work you. to do. Yeah. Oh, thank <laughs> okay. You. okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. So this one's called stitching. Before the computer stitching, the upper was in the flat form. Yeah. Here is the first time the upper takes a 3D form. Okay. So it's a cell, and basically it will follow. Something stop here. Okay. Trying to understand. It will follow this view. Yeah. to fit to what we call the assembly department, okay. what is this, the sole. Okay. Still in the stitching department, you still have flow, continuous flow. If you looked between the stations, to upper, to upper, to upper, that associate just noted, he did not put another shoe on that tray until one was removed. The Kanban, okay. Exactly, Whoa, yeah. so they're pulling. Pulling, yeah. Very okay. critical, that discipline it's very, very important. You don't want that overproduction. You're right. Two, there are two there, two there. And you saw okay. how they were I stopped. I just saw the switch. Yeah. Yep. And, and they were stopped. As soon as she pulled one off, he put one there. Yeah. It takes months and years to get that. But they understand. They, they understand uh, that the, over, the shoes are not going anywhere if they overproduce. You know, it looks like a symphony. Everybody's playing together. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. It's a tuck. It's like a rhythm. Yeah. The rhythm. So it circulates to the department. They stop. That's why they don't have a shoot here. They will, the associate will put it on. And basically, the department is there are two basic operations. It's called the lasting, where you this is called the last. The last. Okay. You have a last. This is a style, and you have a last per a foot. Foots are very different. Yeah. Uh, it happens to be ten and a half. The width is Dave, yeah. D, called David. Um, you know, Valentine uh, you know, specializes in width, so this particular shoe goes from B, very narrow, to 6E, very wide. And each one, each foot, requires a different last. So, does, uh, so how do we know when the shoes are going through this cell, that are they making it for a particular size last? There is um, a document that is printed every day and distributed to all the supervisors per value stream that they know exactly the sequence. Okay. So he knows very well, the flow coordinators in okay. this team knows very well what's coming. But that's done on a daily basis. So you're really responding almost a daily basis to the pull of the in customer. Right, yeah, it's a daily, yeah, daily. They, okay. they, we know, sometimes are weekly, sometimes are daily, but we know exactly it gets um, at the beginning of the day or the, the afternoon before gets put in this uh, you know, document. Is that based on the orders that are coming in for shoes? Yeah, it depends on the work order. Some shoes are directly go direct to customers, some orders go to the warehouse. It depends of where they are, uh, who they are for. It can be a weekly work order or a daily work order. Regardless of that, this document is daily and it gets distributed again to the supervisor, flow coordinators, and set up people. Set up people, the ones that bring the work. So it's like, no, it's no question. So in this case of the last, the setup person will have this document. So no need to talk. No need to talk. Every every single transaction is very clear. Who's responsible? What needs to be done? So this must give you a competitive edge over your competitors whose shoes are being made in another country, and the market is here, and there's a time lag between those two. This is one. Uh, yes, it is. You know, we can. We're working right now with our lead time of three days is to try to help the retailers to minimize the inventory. So if Saturday, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sunday the big day, on Monday they place an order, three days later we can deliver back to them. So and this lady is doing it right now. I mean, she's absolutely real time response. Okay. Cool. This used to be in a customer in three or four days, and that makes a big difference. 
basically in this department, this associate, the shoe is put into what's called a conditioner, just get some steam to soften up a little bit. Okay. So when he removes the last, puts on the pin and put the, the shoe on, it's flexible when it's to fill it flexible enough to fit. Uh, the shoe gets cemented in the okay. bottom. Okay. Uh, the sole is delivered from behind. The associates with that um, yellow machinery there. Yeah. That basically what it does. It activates. Maybe I'll show you a little more closely here. So the shoe is cemented. Okay. It's put in this big dryer. Okay. To dry. The sole underneath is come from behind. Okay. The right sole for the right upper. Um, the cement gets a little heat, heat in that uh, called activator okay. oven. Then the associate will get the upper and the sole, uh, you know, activated. Yep. Just stick it together. Put in this big press where they should stay for two minutes to ensure bonding. Okay. okay. And then go to our table where the packing associates will do some basic inspection. We'll remove any cement. We'll apply the laces, any tags, advertisement, uh, some tissue inside the shoe to keep the shape inside the box. Yep. Get packed. And that's it. And that's it. Okay, so Claudio, this now goes to your customer, and if I yeah, if I go to a New Balance uh, outlet or a shoe store, I can buy You'll this. You see those shoes, absolutely. Claudio, thanks so much for showing this. It's been a pleasure, really a pleasure. And you know, yeah. as we're leaving, I kind of want to know what's the next step of your lean journey. It's interesting, the answer is more of the same, but what I mean by that, everything is about the thinking. So what we'll do, we will work in more sophisticated problems. We continue sharpening our problem solving skills. So we will be to resolve more complicated ways problems.